Dear friends, welcome back to Curious Vet. I am Dr. Mausina. In today's video, we will see a very small topic, but it is very important one. We are all familiar about the different inclusion bodies in blood smears. There are a lot of inclusion bodies and they are a bit confusing. So in today's video, we will discuss only two inclusion bodies, Haynes bodies and Howell Jolly bodies. So first, let's discuss Haynes bodies. Haynes bodies are also known as erythrocyte refractile bodies. They are erythrocyte structures composed of precipitated denatured hemoglobin. So they are formed by the denaturation of hemoglobin. And uh, here you can see the picture of Haynes bodies in blood smear here. So Haynes bodies are aggregates of denatured precipitated hemoglobin within the RBCs and they are formed as hemoglobin is metabolized with oxidative damage. So when hemoglobin in the RBC undergo oxidative damage, it will get denatured and precipitated to form Haynes bodies. Now let's see the physiology. Haynes bodies are the result of oxidative damage to erythrocyte hemoglobin and they may be seen in conjunction with exendrocytes. Exendrocytes are different. They are formed due to the result of oxidative damage to the erythrocyte membrane. So this is different from Haynes bodies which are formed by the denaturation or oxidative damage to erythrocyte uh, hemoglobin. Haynes body formation is a cause of hemolytic anemia. Haynes body hemolytic anemia is usually associated with two reasons. One is toxic exposure, but rare cases may result from hereditary defects that acts to protect erythrocytes from oxidative damage. Now let's see the causes of abnormally high levels of Haynes bodies. Haynes body formation in horses has been associated with red maple leaf toxicosis, wild onion toxicosis and phenothiazin administration. Copper and zinc toxicosis have caused Haynes body formation in other species and might potentially do so in horses. Also onion toxicosis lead to Haynes body formation in cats and also ethylene glycol toxicity is also a cause of Haynes body formation. The presence of large numbers of Haynes bodies may cause falsely elevated hemoglobin reading on a complete blood count. So on a, on a CBC, uh, this high number of Haynes bodies may cause falsely elevated reading of hemoglobin. In rare cases, hereditary defects in the mechanisms that act to protect erythrocytes from oxidative damage may result in Haynes body formation. So there are some mechanisms that act to protect erythrocytes from oxidative damage. So due to the hereditary defects in these mechanisms, uh, large number of Haynes bodies are formed. Now let's see the staining of Haynes bodies. New methylene blue stain Haynes bodies dark blue making them easier to identify on a blood smear. Now let's see a blood smear stained with new methylene blue. This is a blood smear stained with new methylene blue. You can see hands bodies here very clearly. So they are the uh, precipitate of denatured hemoglobin caused by uh, oxidative damage. And they are different from exendrocytes. Exendrocytes are due to oxidative damage to erythrocyte membrane and hence bodies due to oxidative damage of erythrocyte hemoglobin. To make a new methylene blue stained smear, mix a drop of whole EDTA coagulated blood with a drop of new methylene blue stain in a clean tube and let this mixture stand for 20 minutes. Place a drop on a slide and use a spreader slide to make a blood smear in the usual manner. No additional staining is necessary to visualize Haynes bodies that might be present. So that's all about Haynes bodies. Now we will see what are Havel, Howell Jolly bodies. So these two may be confusing a little bit but uh, we can distinguish between them because of their appearance.
Howell jolly bodies are also called micronuclei. They are small fragments of non-functional nucleus that were not extruded as the erythrocyte left the bone marrow. Usually but not always the host erythrocyte contain only a single Howell jolly body which appears as a blue perfectly round inclusion. So you can see the perfectly round blue inclusion bodies here. Whole jolly bodies are small homogeneous dark purple same color as RBC nuclei spherical structures within the RBC cytoplasm and they are the remnants of RBC nuclei also known as micronuclei. Diagnostic significance of whole jolly bodies. HJ bodies are fragments of RBC nuclei retained after expulsion of the nucleus, that is they are nuclear remnants, one should be careful not to confuse them with erythro erythroparasite. Low number of HJ bodies may be present in the peripheral blood of normal cats and are infrequently observed in the peripheral blood of normal dogs. The number of erythrocytes containing HJ bodies tend to increase during regenerative anemias, similar to increase in the number of RBCs as well as other conditions, similar disorders and mechanisms seen with increased number of RBCs. So they are seen in regenerative anemias and some other conditions that cause increased number of RBCs like splenic disease, post splenectomy state, bone marrow disease or myelophthesis, chemotherapy, radiation, erythroid toxins and glucocorticoid therapy. Here you can see a picture of perfectly round uh, body that is HJ bodies. They are the nuclear remnants. So here you can clearly distinguish between Howell Jolly bodies and Haynes bodies uh, because the they are perfectly Howell Jolly bodies are perfectly round and they are nuclear remnants. And uh, only one HJ body can be found in a uh, in in an RBC. But uh, Haynes bodies are the oxid uh, are precipitates formed by the oxidative damage of uh, RBC hemoglobin. So that's all about Haynes bodies and Howell Jolly bodies. If the video is informative and useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Comment your suggestions. If you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. See you soon with another video. Thank you.